Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize FPS and get better performance in Genshin Impact's version 5.8 dropped recently. This guide will be covering all of the best PC and game settings so make sure to stick around until the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and then come down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off since it is an overlay service and turning this thing on will lead to performance issues. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. This one will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background allowing you to get better performance in the games. Click on the graphics button underneath and enable optimizations for windowed games as this will use advanced features to reduce input latency. Click on the advanced graphics settings and set your default high performance GPU to your native graphic card. Make sure that you guys select your hardware based graphics and not your software based graphics. Then you wanna have to scroll down and in this list you will be finding Genshin Impact.exe. It should be automatically added if you have ever played this game. But if you haven't, head over to Epic Games. Then under your library you wanna have to scroll down, click on the three dots over here and click on manage. Click on this open file location path and this will open up the file location of your game. Copy the file directory and now click on add desktop app. Paste this directory right over here and then head over to hyp.exe, click on the add button, scroll a bit down and then select it. For the GPU preference, select high performance over here. Now click on the add desktop app once again, head over to games, Genshin Impact game and select Genshin Impact.exe. If that is already added onto your list, scroll down and select that as well. For the GPU preference, select high performance so it is using your hardware based graphics and once that is done, simply close it. Next tab is disabling background applications and on Windows 11, you have a very special way to do that. Simply search for local group policy and press enter. This tab will only be available for Windows Pro users. Once you are here, double click on computer configuration, then administrative templates, Windows components and then app privacy. Over here, you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and set this thing to enable. And then default for all apps should be set to force deny. And what this will do is basically enable the policy to deny the applications running in the background. This will help you to save a lot of your CPU resources and optimize the performance in the games. Next step is compatibility settings. And for that, you wanna have to head over to the same game directory folder that we have opened from the Epic Games. Right click on hyp.exe and then head over to its properties. Click on compatibility and select disable full screen optimizations. Click on apply and then close it. Next head over to games, Genshin Impact game and over here you'll find Genshin Impact.exe. Do the same thing, head over to its properties, compatibility and then select disable full screen optimization. This will help you to fix any black screen or game crashing issues. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and then simply select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it GI for Genshin Impact and press enter. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your game settings back to normal without any form of data loss. And once that is done, close it and close your system properties. Next step is Genshin Impact V5.8 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in six very useful folders over here. The first one includes CPU priority, which consists the best D word value registry for your processor to improve the performance. This will help you to unlock the performance of your CPU. So you have to select it accordingly. If you guys have an AMD CPU, double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel based CPU, you guys can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. Once that is done, second folder is Genshin Impact priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. The third folder is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries according to your PC's RAM. I use 32GB RAM so I need to apply this one, could be different for you so you can select it from this list. This will help you to optimize the performance of your RAM by using the correct default values and once again you can reset it back to default using this registry over here. Next one is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan you wanna have to right click on this as administrator. This will add a new ultimate performance power plan into your list that you can access over here. Double click on power plans and head over to select ultimate performance. This will help you to disable all kind of power saving features on your PC and allowing you to get better performance right away. Fifth folder over here is unwanted services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless but they still run in the background and consume your processes in the background. What you guys have to do is simply double click and disable every single one of them over here to ensure that your PC is running on the 
the maximum throttle. And if you guys use any Bluetooth or printer services, I would suggest you to leave these two as it is. And if you guys want to restore them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and turn them back on. Last folder is the useful programs in which I have left clean temporary files dot bat. You wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. This will open up a command prompt right in front of you. Press enter and this will delete all temporary files right off your PC and will help you to clean your systems cache files. This will also help you to improve the performance of your games in multiple cases. The next one is MSI mode utility 3.0. Right click and run it as administrator. Once you're over here, select your graphic card and click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, select high and this will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts and increase the performance. Once that is done, simply close this and close the FPS pack. Next step is msconfig and for that press windows and R key together and then type in msconfig over here. Press enter and system configuration will open right in front of you. Head over to the boot section and then click on advanced option. Click on the number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. Click on OK and select no GUI boot. Click on the apply button. Then head over to the services tab and select hydral Microsoft service. Now you wanna have to disable all kind of unwanted fan control, RGB service, browser updates service which you do not feel that you use every now and then you can manually update your browser and manually change how your rgb system works this will help you to significantly boost your fps on your pc and reduce the number of services and process count on your pc once that is done press ok and then click on restart and once you have restarted your pc you have to go down into the best in game settings all right once you're in your game press your escape key and then come down to settings Right over here, go over to graphic settings and ensure that your graphic quality is set to custom. For the display mode, you can go with your native monitor resolution along with your brightness. For the FPS, go with 60 if that is available for you. VSync should be turned off and render resolution, you guys can set it to 0.8 or 0.9 if you have a low end PC. But if you guys have an average or good computer, you guys can go with 1 or even higher. For shadow quality, I would go with low, global illumination off, visual effects low, SFX quality lowest. Make sure that you set this to the lowest because it is the major FPS impacting unit over here. For the environment detail, you guys can go with low and for the anti-aliasing, go with FSR2 if that is available for you or DLSS for NVIDIA graphics card. For the volumetric fog or anything related to volumetric, go with off. Reflections, you guys can keep it on. Motion blur low or you guys can turn it off for better FPS. Bloom, you guys can keep it on. Crowd density, low. Co-op teammate effects on. Subsurface scattering, medium. Anisotropic filtering, you guys can go with 2x or 4x. Both of them works absolutely fine. And dynamic character resolution should be turned off. Once that is done, press escape and now you guys can enjoy the game with the highest FPS So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. Also, we are very close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all to help us achieve that. And we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.